Hey YouTube, what's going on? Back with another video. Um, today we got something kind of different. Um, I've never had it before. Um, I just kind of got lucky with it, honestly, because I never could find it around anywhere near me. And then I went to uh, the carry out. Um, in my local area and by they sell like I'm not gonna say weird because it's not weird but like the the dips that you normally can't get I don't know like they have them down there so I'm I'm just gonna start going down there to get stuff the review but um we've got cope whiskey blend long cut um, I think this can right here is one of the best looking cans. I, I love the way that can looks. I'll see if I can, there we go. Love the way that can looks. It's got like a black in here and cope right here, obviously. I mean, and it's kind of like a bronze just bronze look to it around here and all this the long cut is like smooth right here and then this part the cope and the um the symbol right here is like out perforated out so i mean it's an overall cool looking can um i'll show you the side here Make sure you gotta line that shit up. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, there's the Coke. It's, uh. Like I said, it's not a bad looking can. I really do, uh. Thoroughly enjoy this can. Like, I don't know. I think it's one of the best looking cans. I really do. But, um. I, I kind of wish Copenhagen would just make their cans like this. I don't know how you guys would feel about that, but I I do like the way these cans look. But let's go ahead and uh, open her up, pack her up, and uh, take a whiff here. Okay. It definitely has that whiskey smell to it. Show you that, yeah. It, def it definitely has that whiskey smell. It's kind of like a, uh, a it's not uh, too strong, but it is kind of like a, uh, a a tart smell. Like it's it's um trying to find a word to describe it, but it's it's definitely got that whiskey smell. Um, but it don't smell too bad. I, I like the smell of it, so let's go ahead and put a dipski, put a lipski, and uh, go ahead and put one in here. Oh, yeah. We'll let that uh, sit in there for a little bit. Go ahead and talk to you for a few minutes. I haven't made a video in a while. Well, the last video I made was when I was uh, still in college for that semester, spring semester and I had finals coming up and shit and I needed to get those done which I passed all of them so that's good right <laughs> so I'm on the summer break now <clears throat> gotta have a mud jug spinning confederate camo hell yeah anyway 
I got all the finals done and I uh, I'm on summer break now not even I think I had two days I was off the two days into my summer break and this fucking dumbass this dumbass right here the one looking into the camera and talking to you right now this dumbass right here decides to get on the four wheeler decides to get on the four wheeler okay now mind you I've had this four wheeler for like ten years have not wrecked it one single time and I've done some stupid shit on that four wheeler I mean things that people I mean would look at and just be like fuck that man I ain't going up that you know stuff like that <clears throat> so I'm on the second day of my break get the four wheeler out and I'm just riding you know having a good time and I see this you know there's a hill in my backyard there's a hill in my backyard okay and it's a small little hill compared to what I fucking go up most of the time so I fucking go up this hill right and I start up it and I'm doing all fine and dandy and it kinda like it goes up and then it curves like this and then you gotta come back down the other side well, I'm fucking going up this hill, okay, and it, it's curving like this. Dude, right when I hit that fucking curve, the fucking dirt gave way on the left side of my bike. <laughs> you can see where this is going. The dirt gave way. I fucking flipped that four-wheeler. My leg got caught underneath of it. And right as soon as I fucking fell, my leg got kind of underneath on that thing, and freaking, I just heard a big loud <laughs> like that. Right then and there, you know you're fucked when you hear that sound. Okay, and you keep going, uh, there's more to the story. I keep going down the fucking hill, I keep rolling down the hill. Thank God the bike stayed where it was at because I was probably going to get ran over again by it. I kept rolling down the hill and I fucking smacked the back of my head off of a tree. And at the end of my yard, at the end of this hill, we had like this log type deal sitting there. And there's a metal pipe sticking off of that log. I don't know what the fuck it was doing there. I honestly got don't. I came within inches of fucking hitting that metal pipe right in my fucking eye socket. Oh my god. So anyway, I'm sitting there fucking screaming in pain. I can't even look at my leg, okay? I thought I broke the fucker. I mean, I thought I broke that son of a bitch. My knee was about ten times the size of the normal size of my knee. And I, I was like, oh my god. So my dad comes running, fucking gets gets me up with my grandpa. I, he had to come over from his house. He couldn't, I couldn't move my leg, man. I, I'm serious. It was bad. It get it gets worse though. Okay, they're moving me, and I'm like hopping on. I got my arms up on around them, you know, and I'm hopping on one leg trying to get back to the porch. <laughs> And uh, where I hit my head, I started losing my vision, dude. I was like, I couldn't see there for like a good five minutes. I could not see a damn thing. I was sitting there looking around. I'm like, oh my God, I can't see. I was trying to tell him I can't see. 
And I said, I need a bottle of water. And I kept fading in and out. I kept my head kept going like it, like dropping down and shit. I was, man, that knocked me for a loop. They gave me a bottle of water, and I fucking drained like half of it, and then I take the other half and try to wake myself up, dumping it over my head. That's the only thing that cut me up, because I was about ready to pass out right there on the porch. So, they call my mom home from work, and it's about mm, four o'clock-ish, I'd say. Well, they get there, and mom comes home. Fucking, she's a nurse, by the way. She comes home, sees the way I am. She's like, "We gotta get him to the fucking hospital." He's like, about ready to pass out. His knee is fucked, and she didn't say that, but you gotta, we gotta go. And they tried freaking getting me to the car. Oh my god, that was the worst pain I've ever had in my entire life, trying to get to that car. It took everything I had to get to that car. Because I didn't want to call the squad, so, I mean, what do you do? So we got to the hospital, and all in all, I'll, I'll slim this story down, because I know it's fucking picking up a lot of time. We get there, she checks me in. They say, well, he's going to be a level 2 trauma. So they fucking hurried up, got the damn bed, got me out of the car, flung me on that bed, and rushed me into the trauma room. I bet within like five minutes I had IVs, fucking blood out of this arm, heart hooked up, and, you know, heart uh, monitors and shit all over me. They cut my damn shirt, which that kind of pissed me off, but yeah, what are you going to do? Hey, I had Under Armour shorts on. At least they let me take those off. I don't know how the hell I got them off, but... Anyway. <clears throat> I, uh... All in all, I didn't have a concussion. I didn't have any brain damage. And no bleeding. Nothing like that. Everything came back normal. My leg wasn't broke. This is going to be a long fucking video. I can already tell. It's like 12 minutes in. Um... They told me I was alright, so, but they said, um, you might have, uh, torn some ligaments in your knee, so you might, uh, have to go to a specialist, so, I'm on crutches for, like, two weeks during this, too, and I go to the specialist, and I swear to God, since we don't have insurance right now, It was like $200 up front, and I went to this doctor, and he just looked at my knee, did, just felt it. He's like, well, I'm going over to an MRI, and he said, I'll uh, give you some, um, some type of medicine that helps with swelling. And he said, and uh, I'll see you back uh, Tuesday. So I'm fucking like, oh my God. So I had an MRI Thursday. Mm, I don't know what day it would have been, the, the date, I really don't know, but I had an MRI Thursday, so I go there, they take the MRI, I'm slowly starting to get better, like, with pain and shit, and, okay, I go to the doctor Tuesday, well, he shows me the MRI pictures, he starts off, he says, uh, I haven't got a chance to look at him, so this is the first time I'm looking at him. And I was like, oh, great. So he shows me everything. He said, he showed me the bone. I, I can't remember which one it was, I'm sorry. But um, I had some bone bruising. He showed me my MCL. Um, he said, I badly sprained it. And then he said, and here's the deal breaker right here. He showed me my ACL, and it starts, it connects at one part of my knee, and he kept going through the pictures, going through the pictures, going through the pictures, and by the time you get to the other side where it connects again, it wasn't even there. Dude, I fucking tore the shit out of my ACL. So yeah, that's where I, what I've been doing, trying to walk around. 
I got a knee brace on right now, and I feel like I'm fucking 90 years old walking around. I can barely move, but at least I'm walking, uh, not on crutches. At least I'm able to walk. I, I'm definitely got to get surgery, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't scheduled a date yet. Like I said, we don't have insurance right now. Mom just switched jobs, so here we are. So this summer is pretty well fucked. <laughs> Day two of the fucking summer break and I gotta do that. You don't know how bad that pissed me off. But anyway, that's my story. I tore the shit out of my ACL. So that's where I've been, the guys. So. Um, and by the way, I know this is a long video, but um, shout out to... Uh, City Kid Dippers. Oh, fuck. Um, I should have wrote this shit down. I'm pretty sure I'm almost positive. Give me a second. Here. We'll get on the phone and we will look at what your name is, dude. Sorry about that, man. I'm fucking forgetting everything. Too much going on. Uh, yes, City Kid Dipper. Shout out to you. Make pretty good videos, man. I told you I'd give you a shout out. Here it is. Um, I didn't forget about you. <laughs> but, um, Cope Whiskey Blend. It's an alright dip. It's not that great in my opinion I, I mean it's kind of I mean the cope series itself of the things that I've heard from it they're kind of a drier like that's how they're supposed to be like a drier dip so you don't get as much spit from it like you normally like to now you do get that whiskey flavor and it I mean it, it is good but um the Copenhagen black um was the bourbon dip and it, I mean it was it, it was pretty good I mean but my opinion changed on that too after so long of dipping it I got sick of it you know so um it's it's an okay dip I mean it's nothing fantastic it, it's got that whiskey flavor it's um It's okay to pinch, you know. It's kind of like that um, mid-cut type deal, you know. Um, it's it, the packability. It it's fantastic. It don't move. You don't get any floaters. Um, hmm. Overall, I would rate Cape Whiskey Blend probably. A seven out of ten. It's it's a it's good, but it's not great. You know, I, it, it's it's okay. It's nothing to go fucking ape shit over. So, I mean, by all means, go get go get a can, try it. If you never had it, if you can get your hands on it, I had some trouble finding it, but um, oh well. Um, don't forget to get you a mud jug. www.mudjug.com and um yeah cook whiskey blend seven out of ten for me and acl tearing that you're pretty well fucked <clears throat> well that's about it for me boys and girls out there so uh always remember no matter what you do keep dipping and spitting and i'll see you later